In this tutorial video, we are looking at basic shapes in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to access this file, head to the first link in the description. Let's get straight into the video. So to start this tutorial, we've just got a blank A4 Illustrator file, and we're going to put on the grid by going show grid within view, and then we're going to snap to the grid as well. This is going to make it easier for us to create shapes. To create shapes, we're going to use this tool here, which is called the rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, or the polygon tool. First of all, we're going to use rectangle tool. So click on rectangle tool. I'm just going to use a red shape today with no outline at all. And to create a basic shape, a basic square, just go to one of the crosshairs of your grid, click and drag, and there you'll get a basic square. To do a rectangle, do the same in another crosshair and just create a rectangle, which is just a longer square, basically. Okay, so we've already got our first two shapes created, a square and a rectangle. The next shape we are going to create is a circle. Again, within the rectangle tool, click and hold that, and we're going to go down to ellipse tool. Once selected, again, in the crosshair of one of the corners of the grid, click and drag. And as you can see, it's making it into an egg shape. If you go to the other crosshair, it'll make a perfect circle. Another way to do this is, again, click on one of the crosshairs there and hold shift. And this will constrain the proportions and it will always remain a perfect circle. There we have our circle created. The next shape we are going to create is a triangle. To do this using the shape tool or the rectangle tool, go back to where we had the ellipse tool, hold and drag and go down to polygon tool. With the polygon tool, we want to click and drag the shape, and as you'll see, we have this shape here, which is not a triangle, as you can see. But to get it to be a triangle, with it, the mouse clicked down, we're going to use the up and down arrows on our keyboard. So click up to create more sides to your shape. So that's now an octagon with eight sides. We can click down, and we go from a pentagon to a hexagon, square, and then a triangle. Okay, so three-sided shape, the triangle. And if you're trying to get it to align properly, and if you can't get it to quite line up, you can click Shift on the keyboard, and that will align with a flat bottom for your triangle. The second triangle we are going to create is a right angle triangle. We're going to cheat a little bit by clicking on the square. We're going to hold Alt on the keyboard, and we're going to click and drag. And that will duplicate that shape. Now, the next thing we need is the pen tool. So go to the pen tool, or click P on the keyboard, and it'll select the pen tool and one of these little blue dots in the corner we're just going to click there as you can see there's a little minus symbol next to the pen if you click it will take away one of the points and there you have your right angle triangle now you can create this obviously four different ways click and drag and then use the pen tool and you can have a different sided right angle triangle Next, again, we're going to use the polygon tool and we're going to create a five-sided shape. So with the polygon tool selected, click and drag. We've got our triangle again, look. So if we click up twice, we'll get a five-sided shape. Press shift to flatten the bottom area and let go. And they've got a five-sided shape. So put that in our grid. Again, do the same for a six-sided shape. Click and drag. Press up on the keyboard and you've got your six-sided shape as well. Hold shift to get it nice and constrained and flat at the bottom and let go. You can do this create many different shapes, whether it be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The choices are endless and you can create as many shapes as you wish. The last thing we're going to do is adapt this circle. We're going to turn that into a semicircle and a half circle. So let's click and drag on our circle again using Alt to duplicate it down to the bottom there. We're going to drag another one across and rather than using our pen tool this time we're going to use this direct selection tool so click on that and what we're going to do is going to delete one of these points here to create a half circle so on one of the sides on the right the left the top of the bottom click on one of the points and just click backspace on the keyboard now you've got a half circle but we need to close the path so to do that we're going to use the pen tool again so click on the pen tool click on the top point and then the bottom point and then we've got a closed shape. Our path is now complete. So we've now got a half circle. We're going to do the same thing again to create a semicircle. 
we need to click and drag using Alt. And what we need to do is create a point now halfway down our circle. Because we've got our grid on, it's going to snap to our grid. So round about there. And then we're going to use our direct selection tool. Click the bottom point. Click backspace. We need to close the path again by using the pen tool. And then you've got your semicircle. So that's my basic shapes tutorial in Adobe Illustrator. If you got something out of this video, guys, please hit the like button or subscribe to the channel. Remember, there's a first link in the description if you want to access this file. If you want to check out another one of my tutorial videos, I'm going to put one on the screen now. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you again soon.